What's up, y'all? Got a family to feed, so let's get into this tea. Now, I want y'all to know I have not gone back live yet because my Wi-Fi is still off. Um, I don't know what's going on with AT&T, but we're going to figure that out at a later time, at a later date. But uh, I'm about to get into a brief 10 minutes and tell y'all how I feel with a little more emotional intelligence um, about this Krishana Teseki situation because, quite frankly, yesterday I probably should have took my time to say what it is that I needed to say. Um, for one, I want to start by saying that I too am a victim and it's a lot of y'all in the comments that are victims as well. And I'm absolutely not undermining y'all being victims because clearly we all are. I just don't want you to undermine me. Okay. Um, you know, today I'm sitting there talking about, you know, what I actually went through and it was for a reason for me saying that, but somebody was like, this ain't a venting session. This is not venting Monday. And you know, it's a lot of evil people out here and that's fine. The problem is, if you can't understand where all the victims are coming from, then clearly you just don't have any understanding at all, right? Um, so I have about five things that I want to address, and then, you know, we can go further on. For one, uh, for those that did not see the video that I put out, uh, I correlated Krishan being a liar with the story, right? With her saying what happened to her. I absolutely apologize for that because that was not my intention. My intention was to just let it be known that all of them have been an act in this circus, which is absolutely true. So when you've experienced something like that, I'm sure a lot of you all have. I have 95% women that subscribe to me. Y'all know um, when you experience something like that, it hit home a little different, you know, and you got to have a certain amount of emotional intelligence to be a blogger and to speak about this type of stuff that actually happened to you as well in real life. Quick little brief. Uh, I, I'm going to call the person the abuser. I spoke with my abuser. I asked him why he did it. He told me because his brother did it to him. Now, I'm going to let it be known that I, I wasn't aware of that. And when he told me, I'm like, what? His brother was obviously way older than him. Not obviously, but I'm telling you, his brother was way older than him. And um, he told me he did it because that's what his brother was doing to him. That's what he knew, right? Is it something that I like? Is it something that uh, I felt like, well, that's not an excuse. Absolutely felt that way in the beginning. However, when you think a little deeper into it and when we get into victims, like I said, um, quite frankly, everybody is a victim. And I'm saying that, listen to me with grace. I'm saying that because everybody was doing it in that house, which means it could have happened to Tesseki. I'm simply telling y'all I feel bad for both of them. That's all I'm saying. Whether Tesseki was 14, 13, 12, you're right. She was older. She would know more than a seven-year-old. Absolutely correct. However, that does not take away from the fact that she was still a minor. That's all I'm saying. I have teenage daughters sometimes. They do things, and I'm like, why the hell would you do that? I don't know, Ma. Something came over me. I asked them. I talked to my kids. Something came over me. Don't do that again, and I'm going to tell you why. Right? Now, for something that's so strenuous as that, it's not something that you can stop, play, rewind, take back. It's nothing that you could do in that area aside from Tesseki owning up to what she did and apologizing. Now, a lot of y'all are telling me that Tesseki was the one who wanted to speak publicly and not Krishan. Why the hell would you do that? I, I don't even understand why she would do that, especially in the event if you did that. Why would you want to do that? So I feel like that was a sort of that was a position of selling a soul to get this information out here and have all of us in a goddamn frenzy, okay? Because that's what's going on right now. It had no reason to hit this internet. Quite frankly, at some point, their sisters, something got to be forgiven, something got to happen. It's almost like some of y'all want uh, Krishan to give her a bullet. And quite frankly, rightfully so, it's something that is very, very serious. However, they both were young ages, minors, under 18, under 21, Hell, I ain't really realized what life was like for real until I turned 28 to now. You know what I'm saying? In other words, I was still a child. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of a lot of y'all not understanding that, and that's fine, because that's what my heart is. That's what my heart posture is, and, and I'm cool with that. I can stand on that. I'm cool with that. Um, 
But I want to clarify that. I did not say that she lied and I apologize to mislead any of y'all that I misled because that was never my intention. However, experiencing something like that, you do have to have a certain amount of emotional intelligence and it wasn't time for me to speak. So I spoke before I should have spoken. OK, and as a woman, I'm going to say absolutely apologize to mislead some of y'all um, to women out here that are victims as well. I want y'all to know you are not by yourself. You are not the only one. You understand me? I'm one. Uh, honey sauce is one. We making sure they not, though. You get what I'm saying? That's the only job that we can do moving forward. I'm going to make sure they're not. You know what I'm saying? The best of my ability, the best of my ability. Um. A lot of people are asking questions like, why, why wasn't the parents around? And something else that's really just bothering me is what's unfortunate is that our parents had to work. They didn't have the resources that we have today. And this is where I give grace. And, and I feel like I need to. Um, I've even told my parents, like, you know, and, and once I was at my grandmother's house, not uh, my parents' house. I was with my grandma when this happened. And grandma's definitely ain't paying no attention, obviously, it would make sense. She's older, things like that. So at my parents' house, you know, it was a lot that wasn't happening. But what I'm trying to say is they had to work. They had to take care of things. A lot of single mothers out here who had to handle their business. Life hard, bro. Life is hard. Now, I've been looking at what's going on today, and Tesseki is not making this any better. She's continuously talking about money. Are you serious? I don't get it. I know that they came from nothing. Got it. We came from nothing, nigga. That's why I talk about uh, because I got everything. Got it. That has nothing to do with the harm that y'all are causing one another. And that's why I, I started at the mom. The dad, he already ain't shit to me the way he treat Krishan. He said Krishan ain't shit to mom. As well, have them playing against each other. I blame the parents. I do. Um, and that's that's just really where I am with it. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I had no intentions on being insensitive. I will say, though, as a, as a victim, you don't know how you're going to respond. You don't want to relive this. You get what I'm saying? Getting this type of... Getting this type of news or this type getting tapping into this type of content it opened up doors from past traumas you know and i realized that throughout the day of of what this is doing but it's something i want to continue to stay into um because if i could give a message to somebody in a process who's still hurting maybe i can help maybe not right um but god knows i would love to you know um I'm waiting on my Wi-Fi to come back. I want to call y'all, get y'all on the phone so you can tell, you know, how you feel about this situation. Because I want y'all's opinion. Please have respect. I am in a, a mood. I will cuss all y'all out. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Respectfully. So to the people that uh, have, you know, uh, a common ground and, and a good heart to have a good conversation and, and, and speak of some traumas and just let this shit um, off our chest. Um, I'm willing to do so. I can't wait. I just got to wait for my wife to come back on, unfortunately. But I just wanted to put that out there, y'all. Like, life could be so much harder than what it is. You know what I'm saying? And thank God we all still here. So at some point, since we all are still here, um, at some point we got to heal. I think healing starts with admitting to what's going on, facing it. And facing that person. And I think that they attempted to do so. But Tesseki just had the wrong intentions. Now, also, Krishan is not going to get anything from this. She attempted to, um, with saying how she felt rightfully so. Saying it on TV in attempts to embarrass Tesseki, it, it just wasn't going to go the right way, Lord. And, and y'all got to get that. Y'all got to get what I'm saying. It wasn't going to go the right way. It wasn't the right place. It wasn't the right time. You know? So that's what I wanted to say. Um, I'm not perfect. I never said I was. I don't have all the answers and I definitely ain't going to say everything correctly. And if any of y'all felt as though you want to leave because of that, the damn, the door right there. See, I'm not here to uh, be perfection for y'all. I'm here to 
give a great message, have a good heart and have good intentions with what I am doing. And, you know, have some grace with people and, and especially have, you know, hope, hoping that people can have grace with me. You get what I'm saying? So to those that have been with me for a very long time and know that this is how I rock and know, um, sometimes I don't say everything perfectly, but still here, I appreciate y'all. I always, always will appreciate y'all. Um, and that's why I'm at with it, man. Y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below. Um, whoever's going through this, always understand that, you know, Something could have been potentially happening to that person. And before I leave, the reason why I'm saying that is because it started with the older brother. Tristan said that about the older brother. The older brother is who started it first. I don't know how it was skipped Teseki. Maybe it did. Uh, I don't believe it did. I believe it happened to Teseki as well. I don't believe she is willing or ready to speak about it at all. I feel like she has put it in the back of her mind and, and, and you know, have gotten rid of it. It's a lot of memories that I don't remember either. I got rid of them. You know what I'm saying? Rightfully so. I don't want to live in that. I, I, I don't want to live the rest of my life in pain and agony for something that happened that was unfortunate. You know what I'm saying? And everybody's situation is totally different. And I completely understand that. Um, I just want y'all to understand where I'm coming from. If you don't, that's fine. For those that do, thank you. All right. Y'all let me know what you think down in the comment section below, as you always do. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Hey, yeah.